Steppin' Out is made possible in part by Susie and Pierre G. Villery. With a continued passion for public television, we are proud to underwrite Steppin' Out. Please join us in supporting WIES television. The New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation promotes, preserves, and perpetuates music, culture, and heritage through programs, cultural, educational, and economic activities year-round. Learn more at jazzandheritage.org. The American Italian Cultural Center and Museum on South Peters in New Orleans offers event venue space, Italian language classes, dual citizenship and translation services, seminars, genealogy, and trips to Italy. Ciao, AmericanItalianCulturalCenter.com. This program is brought to you in part by the Eugenie and Joseph Jones Family Foundation, a local foundation proud to support education, the arts, and culture in the greater New Orleans area. and welcome to Steppin' Out with updates from the local restaurant, arts, and entertainment scenes. Joining me, what a show, Poppy Tucker, host of Louisiana Eats on WWNO Radio. Hi, Hi. Making his Steppin' Out debut, New Orleans blues guitarist and singer and composer, little Freddie King. Welcome, little Freddie. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so proud to be here with you. Oh, well, thank you. We are proud to have you. <laughs> and Alan Smason, editor of the Crescent City Jewish News and TheaterCriticism.com. Hello. And Wacko Wade Wright. And he is the drummer <laughs> and manager for Little Freddie and also an album producer. Welcome, Wacko. Thank Good you, to Becky. see you. Nice we to all you. had so much fun a few weeks ago at the Jazz Fest when we did an interview. And so I said, we got to continue. we got to continue the talk here. <laughs> Miss Poppy, you are kicking off with a taste of the Carib. Well, it is summertime, and just bring it on, and what says summer more than tiki drinks? <laughs> so everybody needs to check out this new program they're running at the bakery bar that they're calling Club BB, and this is on Thursdays from 4 until 10 p.m. They have specially priced incredible tropical drinks, and they're so clever. You're going to love this first one. A Cafe Carib is a tropical remix of a Cafe Brulot. Oh. Uh, remember oh. their Cafe Brulot Dobosh cake? I do. Well, this is <laughs> spiced rum, orange bitters, cold brew coffee, and chicory whipped cream. Why has nobody thought of that? And in, in that category also, a chillin' mantis. Now, this is a frozen <laughs> grasshopper. Uh -huh. If that doesn't cool you down, that's nothing will. Yeah. And then they have a drink that's kind of hand grenade-like called the detonator. There's a rum crispy, which is a takeoff on a brandy crusta. And don't forget the food there. The chef, Lydia Solano, is doing incredible things at the bakery bar, and that includes her oxtail croquette, something I'll never forget. And remember, there's dough bites. There's all of Debbie's incredible <laughs> dough bosh creation. So go, don't miss it, Thursdays at the bakery bar. Now, on the North Shore, there's a new lunch at the Gloriette. And in case you didn't know, the Gloriette is the new restaurant in the Southern Hotel, which is right smack in the middle of downtown Covington. And they did a redo of the room. It's bright, sunny. It's like eating in a garden only with air conditioning. It's perfect for lunch Monday through Fridays. Chef Stephen Marsala is there. They're serving breakfast, weekend brunch, lunch. Seven days a week they're there. And the food, oh my goodness, the, there's an oyster brie soup that what we're looking at now is the ratatouille tartinette. A baked camembert with a red wine compote mm. is so beautiful. They have chicken cob salad, blackened tuna, the best blackened tuna niçoise I have ever tasted. But they also have entrees like mussels and blue crab tagliatelle and steak frites. So I suggest go to lunch at the Gloriette, but stay 
for the whole weekend, or at least overnight. It's a great vacation a spot hotel. just across the causeway. And I gotta say, it's time to celebrate Gay Pride at Tujac's Restaurant. We have a picture. I was so proud of my cover girl, <laughs> Debbie with a D, on the front page right. of Monday's yeah. paper. And Laveau Contraire, Cucci Leachy, Star Alexander, all of the queens will be getting together the last <laughs> Sunday of every month at Tujac's restaurant for our Poppy's Pop Up Drag Brunch. Don't miss it. All right. It's going to be fun. It's delicious. The mimosas will be bottomless. The girls are beautiful. And hey, there's Debbie right there on the back of the Drag Queen Brunch book. <laughs> well, gentlemen, you all are keeping a pretty busy schedule, but especially exciting is this weekend, which we'll talk about in a moment. But you just got an award from the mayor's office. Tell us a little bit about that, huh? Exactly. It was, it was really wonderful, and I really enjoyed it, but actually it was a surprise for me. Oh, right. Yeah, and we have a picture and of I you. And I didn't know and anything about it. And you didn't know? Michael, my <laughs> manager here, he come and uh -huh. picked me up, said, we're going to the city hall. I said, I said, what are we going up there oh. for? I said, well, we're just going up there and talk a little bit. Oh, you surprised him. I said, talk him. a little bit. I said, what is I'm going to talk about at City Hall? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what in the world is we going to talk about at yeah. City Hall? So he brought me up there to meet the mayor. I love Then he it. said, here you are, a legend, a New Orleans <laughs> legend, saying I have a surprise for you. Oh, so sweet. And so it really was a surprise for me for him not telling me nothing about it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, well Wacko. And he was so nice, and I really appreciated and enjoyed so much, and I thank Wacko so much. Well, yeah. Wacko, <laughs> very, very kind. Nice surprise. But, Wacko, you've been around for a long time as well and played in many bands, including though, playing at the Playboy Club and on Bourbon Street, oh, huh? Oh, man, somebody told you that? <laughs> <laughs> somebody told you that? Was that and going folks? to Sacred Heart of Jesus. I know that. Oh, Jesus. On, on Mid City. But uh, I was a young man. Uh, let's see, I was like 19 years old playing a Playboy on Iberville Street at the time. Can you imagine? Yeah. No. <laughs> and uh, I stayed there about a year. And uh, I was going to Southeastern at the time. But I was working Bourbon Street at the Playboy Club and different clubs. And mm -hmm. I didn't study too hard. So <laughs> I bailed out. And when I went home one day and I had a letter in the mailbox, and it was from the what the hell is the government writing me for, yeah. you know? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And they, that was during the draft time. They drafted yeah. me. Uh -huh. So I had to give up my gig. Oh, well. Well, well <laughs> Freddie, you were from Macomb, Mississippi. Right. And I know that uh, you used to play with uh, Boogie <coughs> Bill Webb. And, right. uh, and And you saw and very much knew B.B. King. So, but you bring in that blues to New Orleans, where New Orleans has, you, you're creating its, your own style, aren't right. you? Right. My own style, own version. Mm -hmm. of what I feel, I play what I feel, and what comes to me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, we are going to show some performance of both of you all, and it's from their Messing Around the House album. Here is an excerpt from the song Can't Do Nothing, Babe, also known as Highway 82 and featuring Little Freddie and Wacko Wade. This video, by the way, was taped at the Esplanade Studios for the 2020 Crescent City uh, Blues and Barbecue Festival presented by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation on harmonica. Robert Louis DeTulio Jr. and Robert Snow on bass guitar, and of course, these fine gentlemen. Take it away. I wake you now, baby. Run right by my baby's door.
can't get along Always down there by the liquor store No, me and my baby can't get along Always down there by the liquor store Well, you know I can't get to one of them I ain't going down Highway to two no more. No, I can't do nothing, baby Freddie and Wacko Wade will perform at 6 p.m. on Saturday at the NOLA River Fest at the old U.S. Mint on Esplanade. But there's a day full of presentations, panels, tours, and food and music. Go to nolariverfest.com, excuse me, .org. And special thanks to Don Marshall and Rachel Lyons of the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation for the use of that great footage. And we'll have another song a little later in our program. Now, we see this little skull head that is uh, dangling down from your microphone. Tell us about that guy and that well, performance. Th that guy, he's he's my helper, you know. <laughs> he is Dr. Bone the Third, you know. Now he's and your mascot, so, or <laughs> he, he's a nice guy, you know. And uh, he's on every ever song and ever job that I play. He's right there with me. If uh, he don't be that, then I can't think of all of my words. Now you said one time you forgot him, and what happened? One time y'all didn't have him or something. Uh, I think we played pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> we had a bad night. We had a bad night. Well, um, little Freddie, um, anyone who knows your incredible history, and by the way, uh, the Lifetime Achievement Award just recently from Offbeat, that was very, very good. That but was you so have good. been, um, <clears throat> your wife tried to stab you, you've been shot at, you are in a very, very serious bike, uh, bicycle accident because you, right. you ride mm -hmm. your bike. And uh, you you got almost got electrocuted. Or you did get electrocuted. Yeah, okay. electrocuted. Okay, right. all of that, and you're still here. Right, the good Lord's still holding me here, <laughs> and I can't thank Him, pray to Him enough for it. Uh huh. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you you all have traveled all over the world. And what kind of That's reaction right. do you get when when you perform? When, you know, <clears throat> we've been to about 18 countries through the last 20 years. You know, but uh, it's it's a monumental reaction. I mean, we had huge crowds in Europe before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Since the pandemic, it kind of knocked us back a little, and we don't do much traveling. Yeah. But the crowds are tremendous, 20,000, 50,000. We played in Brazil, there must be 90,000 people. That's incredible. Yeah. Now, your latest CD is called Blues Medicine, and we're going to show that. I love the cover. <laughs> and you like that color red, I heard. I huh? love red. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And you're a, a busy bee because you've got next Friday, um, you're going to be at Pirog's Whiskey Bayou, that's on St. Claude and Araby. Mm -hmm. Pirog's Whiskey, that, I bet that's a fun place. Yes, indeed. And then you're going to be um, on the 17th at the D at DBA, right mm -hmm. there, uh, good, in good old Fallburg Marigny and Frenchman. And then if anybody wants you to perform for them, go to Wacko Wade at yahoo.com, little freddieking.com for information about booking. And um, we're going to actually talk in a few minutes about where he's playing tonight, because he just found out <laughs> he's playing tonight, which I, I, is a great, great thing. But um, how, when you're, you're doing the blues, they're not, they really aren't many New Orleans blues artists. I mean, you're kind of it, aren't you, you know? Exactly. Yeah, and how do you feel when you're playing? So, oh, I feel good. I feel real good. It's, it's, it's better than any. Doctor's, our doctor's prescription is better. 
<laughs> I mean, I feel, I mean, extra good when I get to playing. <laughs> when I get a tattoo job, I might feel, feel kind of rough and tough, you know, don't feel mm -hmm. too good. But the minute I get on the stage and hit the first string, bang, and boop, there I come wide open again. <laughs> well, we are so glad. Then I feel good. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and now time for Alan. Well, before we get into the theater scene, I wanted to acknowledge the uh, our very own Soul Queen of New Orleans, uh, Miss Irma Thomas, as she is now the recipient of not one but two Emmy Awards. Mm -hmm. The first award she received was for our WYS production, My Life in Music, and that's on the wall right behind behind her, and she's holding the other Emmy that she received as executive producer for a concert documentary that was broadca broadcast over our sister station, WLAE. The Emmy Awards really go nicely with her Grammy Award, and so we're so happy <laughs> for it. And, and again, we note that she only needs to win an Oscar and a Tony now to get an EGOT like Viola Davis. <laughs> now, meanwhile, the curtain rang down, Peggy, uh, last Sunday on the Curious Incident of the Dog of the Nighttime. Uh, those of you who got to see it at Le Petit know what a wonderful show it was, and to celebrate the run, they assembled lead act Dr. Fernando Rivera's home for a pool party and to enjoy some cake. Notice the triangles on the cake. Triangles figure very prominently in the show. At his parents' home, joining the cast were producing executive director Don Scott Cooper on the left, and then on the right there, you might be able to make out director Sal Menino. Uh, so check that out again. I, I, the whole cast had a great time and they had a wonderful party, and I was delighted to be a part of that. Opening tomorrow night is the New Orleans Shakespeare Festival's first production of the summer. That's going to be Twelfth Night. And of course, A.J. Allegra, who just stepped down as the artistic director of the NOLA Project, is seen here with his wife, Casey Thomasy, the costumer. Uh, he's directing this piece and will actually switch into the role of Sir Andrew Aguchek at the last two weeks of the run. And that's because Keith Clavery, who's playing Aguchek at the beginning of the run, will have to leave to begin the rehearsals and tech for Little Shop of Horrors. You see him there. Oh. He's going to be Seymour opposite his lovely and talented wife, who you see there on the left, Leslie Clavery. And she'll be playing Audrey. That's Little Shop of Horrors. That's the second of the three uh, productions that uh, Summer Lyric is going to be presenting this summer. Uh, again, Twelfth Night will be directed by A.J. Allegra, June the 9th, uh, opening night, tomorrow night, and again at the Lupin Theater at Dixon Hall. Now, down the hallway uh, in Dixon Theater, they're about to have some trouble. That's right, <laughs> right there in Dixon <laughs> Hall. They're, they're having Harold Hill, who you see here, played by Ryan Riley, uh, and Marion Peru there is going to be played by the wonderful Rachel Looney, playing her brother Winthrop is Liam Askew, and fan favorite Liz uh, Argus will be playing Mrs. Mrs. Peru, and yes, Mrs. Peru does not have a first name. The Music Man opens a week from tonight, that's next Thursday, and I'll have production photos and a review for you then. And then from the next door campus at Loyola University, we're going to see the first publicity shots for the upcoming Crescent City stage production of Christopher Durang's Vanya, Sonia, Masha, and Spike. <laughs> and and uh, again, for those who are looking for a little more insight into what this really funny piece is all about, tune into the NOLA Theater Talk Show this Monday night at 8 p.m. We we'll have the director and several of the cast members in our virtual studio. You can check it all out at the NOLA Theater Folk Facebook group, the theatercriticism.com Facebook page, not the website. And my own YouTube channel, the show will run from 8 to 9 p.m. And again, on Monday night, we'll see you then. Also, in Kenner, they're getting ready to show Newsies next month. They're also beginning to rehearse the takeoff of the fairy tale princesses and the like in Disenchanted. It's a musical comedy, and uh, it's never played here before, so it'll be interesting. This will play at the Lanyap stage across from the main stage at Rivertown with shows on Fridays and Saturday nights. And then two shows, both at 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock on Sunday afternoons. Tickets are available right now, but the seating is all general admission, so patrons are advised, if you want to see this show, get in there early and make sure that you're there. Now, for those who are budding actors or singers, the uh, historical drama of Le Chat Noir is a story that spans uh, the story of, of several generations in Louisiana. Code Noir, too. Code Noir. Code Noir. Code Noir. Yeah. Code Noir. Uh -huh. The Code Noir is a story that, that spans several generations in, in Louisiana, and this is, of course, Tomi Myrick's uh, piece that she's doing. It's a historical drama. They have historical dramas in a number of states around the country, but not in Louisiana. Hmm. And so the actors who want to uh, be a part of this are asked to prepare a monologue, while singers are asked to have a spiritual ready and or a classical piece. The auditions are being held in my old friendly WYAT studios right on Gentilly Boulevard, ah. now named after the late announcer Larry McKinley. So you want to check that out, the McKinley Studios. And you can sign up for your specific site on signupgenius.com and search for Le Chat Noir. You'll find it there. And also, by the way, we mentioned Summer Lyric. There 
their team is also looking for ushers. Guess what? You can sign up Genius.com to be an usher as well and check that out as well. <laughs> and Alan, I love the bow tie. Thank Looking you very good. much. <laughs> and if you notice, I have my, my little pin on today. That's uh, to promote the uh, Some Like It Hot, the uh, show oh, yeah. that I think is going to probably win the Tony Awards. Oh, right. We'll see. Woo -woo. All right. Well, time for picks. Poppy. Wine lovers, get up off the sofa. It is time for the New Orleans Wine and Food Experience going on right now. My big pick would be that grand tasting on Saturday. Don't miss it. All right. All right, uh, Wacko, so tell us about tonight, Thursday night. What's tonight, happening? We're going to make a special appearance tonight at the world-famous DBA Music Club All right. on Frenchman <laughs> Street. <laughs> And on the 23rd, you got uh, BJ's. Now, BJ's is sort of like your, your home away from home, huh? We've been playing been BJ's since 1994. Wow. wow. Don't you love playing there, little friend? Yes, indeed. It's just like my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right at home. I love that. And I love it. Yeah, and they're so mm -hmm. nice there, too. Right there at Lesseps. Uh, yeah. You'd be right. Yeah, very good. Alan. So there's one production company that goes sort of counter to the regular scheduling for shows. And that's Fat Squirrel. They're kicking off their season in earnest uh, next week with an unusual Monday through Thursday schedule. Uh, they're going to play at 730. The, the piece that they're going to start off with is Paula Vogel's uh, piece that she did called The Baltimore Waltz. This was written in memory of her brother who died during the AIDS epidemic. Mm -hmm. And it's especially significant, of course, because it's playing during Pride Month. So if you are able to check it out, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays are scheduled. And of course, it's at the Ty Tracy Theater at Aww. Gallier Hall at 7.30. And I'll see you at the theater. And I'm so glad to see that that space is being used yeah. again. Yes, indeed. And now my picks. There are numerous Pride events taking place this weekend, including a concert by the New Orleans Gay Men's Chorus. That's Friday night at UNO. And a parade on Saturday. Go to New Orleans Pride. Org for details. The Palm and Pine Restaurant will host, look at them, they're so, so wonderful, another Season of Good Taste dinner on Wednesday, June 21st. That was Amorous and Jordan Herndon, the owners and chefs. They combine Southern, Carib, and Hispanic flavors. Check out their menu and purchase tickets at wyes.org slash events. The show Here's Johnny, too, <laughs> recreates the beloved Johnny Carson TV show One Night Only this Friday at the Jefferson Performing Arts Center, jpas.org, for our tickets. The Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium, they've reopened side by side at Canal Street and the Riverfront. The Albino Alligator and Butterfly Garden are back, and there are more interactive exhibits along with a virtual reality experience open every day. Go to AudubonInstitute.org. Father Mike Mitchell of Our Lady of Divine Providence Catholic Church in Metairie is having an art show Friday evening with proceeds going to help cover Paris debt. Over 50 of his paintings will be available. So go to OLDP.org. And looking ahead, the American Italian Cultural Center presents their annual evening of opera in the Piazza d'Italia. That's next Friday. Bring a chair. And if you purchase VIP tickets, you don't have to bring a chair. There'll be chairs and, and refreshments provided. Food and drink, though, will be available. I have attended before, and it's a delightful evening. Go to Eventbrite.com. Com. That's Opera and the Piazza for tickets. And before we go to a song, real quick, Alan, what are some of you picks? All right, well, I, as I mentioned, for Best okay. Musical, I am picking Some Like It Hot, Best Play, Leopold Stop, which I think is going to take it as well. And also, uh, from Some Like It Hot, Jay Harrison Gee, I think is going to probably take the best featured, uh, either leading actor. As far as uh, fe uh, featured actress, Bonnie Milligan, I am picking for Kimberly Akimbo. And also for Kimberly Akimbo, I think the favorite, Victoria Clark, will probably pick it up. But again, there's a possibility that Annalee Ashford could, could win it. But I, I'm, I'm going with Victoria. She was amazing in Kimberly Akimbo. And we should point out that the writer of Kimberly Akimbo, Correct. David Lindsay Abair, was one of the winners of one, an early one-act play competition by the Tennessee Williams Festival. A one-act play very turned into a musical. That. That's really rare. Very, yeah. very rare. <laughs> and now, though, gentlemen, thank you all so very much for being with us. Let's hear more from a Little Freddie and Wacko Wade and their band, A Bit of King Head Shuffle. Thank you all so very much. Mm -hmm. And thank, thank you. you for watching. Mm -hmm. Good night.
Steppin' Out is made possible in part by Susie and Pierre G. Villery. With a continued passion for public television, we are proud to underwrite Steppin' Out. Please join us in supporting WIES television. The New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation promotes, preserves, and perpetuates music, culture, and heritage through programs, cultural, educational, and economic activities year-round. Learn more at jazzandheritage.org. The American Italian Cultural Center and Museum on South Peters in New Orleans offers event venue space, Italian language classes, dual citizenship and translation services, seminars, genealogy, and trips to Italy. Ciao! AmericanItalianCulturalCenter.com This program is brought to you in part by the Eugenie and Joseph Jones Family Foundation, a local foundation proud to support education, the arts, and culture in the greater New Orleans area.